Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos on the Machine Gun Nevis. Um, if you guys remember, on one of my other videos, I don't know if it was the first or second one, um, I had drilled holes here for grease nibbles. Um, well, stupid me, when I went to weld the centerpiece on where the hole for the grease nibble is, I welded it upside down so now the grease nibble is on the bottom well it's not there yet but that's where the hole is so anyway no big deal I can just grease it from the bottom I just thought of that right now So you guys see how I made this here as an arc. It's like when you go into a chapel to get married. So when I go down the street, I can pick up some chicks and uh, who knows, I might end up getting married. It's only a one seater, but that's okay because she can sit on my lap. can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? tape measure out in the ring and now it doesn't want to move.
Okay, I, I put the rear tires on the go-kart because I want to make sure that the front, the, this here, the front uh, part of the um, go-kart is an out too far because what I don't want is these tires to stick out further than the, than the rear. But I need also enough room to turn. So I think I made a, a good decision building it the way I did. I also don't want the car, go kart on an angle like this. Yeah, it's got big tires on the front, smaller ones on the, uh, sorry, big tires on the back, smaller ones on the front. But I don't want the go kart sitting on an angle. I want the go kart to stay even. Or else the girls that I pick up are going to fall off my lap, right? Okay, this go kart is. Just under seven feet. It's an inch and a, and a half shy of seven feet. The sexy machine was six feet. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I'm going to think if I should shorten this or not. A little bit. But I might just leave it here. Put a bar across here. I might just leave it at... Uh, Six feet, eleven inches. Six feet, ten inches. Yeah. So this is where I am so far. Actually, I like the tires. The tires look better when they're on on the cart. The back ones are. Uh, Back ones are 18 inch and the front 145. How the hell do I know what 145 is? Uh, Fourteen inch. Front fronts are gonna be 14 inch, backs are 18 inch. So yeah, I welded the brackets for the, the shock. Uh, Axar gave me a suggestion to um, to make a bracket with uh, two different holes. This way, I can adjust the uh, the shock height. And that I honestly don't have that much room on what I did here, and. I don't have that much room here and if I do put a bracket up here because these shocks aren't going to be strong enough the problem would be that this bracket would hit the shock so right now for now I'm going to leave it like this if worse comes to worse I'll test it and worse comes to worse I'll cut the brackets off and move it to a different position but it was a great idea. Yeah, and uh, I put supports over here for the back, just where the, the shocks are. And I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, the reason why is, I, I don't know if you guys would rather have long videos, short videos or whatever, so I'm gonna try to make my videos around 10 minutes 10 to 12 minutes long sometimes I make them 14 minutes long or whatever but yeah if you guys don't mind the long videos let me know but this is where I'm getting so far and uh, cheers guys <laughs>